Well, we're in the middle of a weather alert. Thought you'd be interested in hearing it. About 10 storm spotters are already out and checked in uh, all over Hunt County. And we've got a pretty good cell. This one right here. This is here. W5 AMC with an update from the National Weather Service. So we've got a cell uh, kind of moving through my area now. Let me see if I can pinpoint my location on the map for you. I'm right here. That's me. And from the looks of it, this storm's going to come right through me. So going to be interesting in the next few minutes what happens here. This is KD5MHU. This is KD5MHU. Sir, uh, we're wanting to see if we can get you to continue south towards the Queensland area on 34. Copy that. Of course, I live a little south of Quinlan, about five miles outside of Quinlan, south, southeast. So I'm I'm kind of following this storm right now. Sure looks like it's headed in my direction. Anyway, you folks will get a front row seat when it comes through, if it does. It is showing a small hail core on the radar. That's the purple that you see on the screen. That's uh, indicating hail. And uh, they were talking uh, golf ball size possible. But I think we got like quarter size a little earlier before I actually started recording this. As it came through another town, so we'll see what it does. Got the radio on, and uh, nice. what you're hearing is uh, net control coming from the Commerce Texas Texas A&M campus. They have uh, radar there, along with direct connection to uh, various uh, state agencies, emergency agencies, along with the Weather Bureau in Fort Worth. And uh, whenever there's severe weather, they come on and basically 
use the repeater that's owned by the Sabine Valley Amateur Radio Association. That repeater is located in Greenville, Texas, on top of the Hunt County Regional Hospital. And it's on backup power, the hospital backup power. 35 HMR, this is W5 AMC. Right now, I'm not uh, too happy about what I see on the radar. The hail core seems to be expanding a little bit. And I'll try to point out my location again. Uh, right where that arrow is located, that's my position. Sure looks like it's headed right toward me. Of course, there's uh, certain criteria for reporting. Uh, you don't just come on the radio and say it's raining outside. That's not a reportable event. It's basically got to be uh, high winds. Usually over 45 miles an hour. Winds or hail uh, over about quarter size or bigger, size of a quarter or bigger, although they do report dime size hail. <clears throat> Sometimes they're asked for a report and they'll report dime size hail. Of course, uh, any, of course, any kind of wall cloud, any kind of wall cloud. So anyway, a wall cloud is reportable, a funnel cloud is reportable, and of course a tornado, one that's actually uh, on the ground tearing up stuff is reportable, along with any uh, flooding or any other property or danger to the uh, general public. You know, like a falling... Hey, uh, MPK, uh, did you get a copy or did you lose all of it? Or like okay, a... something like a down power line or flooding would be reportable. What's interesting is we've got a train going on right now. One storm, this one that dissipated, just came through, followed by this one, and there's a third one back here. Another pretty good sized supercell back here that's uh, headed in our direction, although it appears like it may go south, south of our location by the time it gets there, but you really can't tell. Too far, far out right now.
give you a location again. I got a bunch of pages in the notes here. Veranda 2642 and I 30. I Save Nicholas Hill for about 11 minutes at 2642 and I 30. So anyway, this third storm. HSQ checking back in at base station 30 south, just at the cattle mill and town mound. HSQ, I got you cattle mill and what was other information there location? Just north of the cattle mill and town lot. Anyway, this storm right here, and here's my location again. Just right at Golf Ball Sides Hill between Nickel and Golf Ball Sides Hill for about 15 minutes. And in the past, so it just quit or is it still happening now? Cut off now, we're getting sporadic rain. Can you give me a better address than Kettle Mills and the impound lot? 2737 FM 36 South. Say, what time were you seeing the golf balls out there exactly? About 15, 20 minutes ago. Thank you. And that's that storm that's headed my way, by the way. I've got, the, I've got the cursor on my location. Say, I'm going to move south on 5065 ground check on the operator down there and make sure he's okay. Say, thank you. Uh, after we get in contact with him. So the main thing with this storm is uh, looks like hail. No indication on radar of any hook signatures uh, showing uh, rotation of any kind. So this is going to be a, a hail incident. And if you're interested in what I'm using for radar, it's called My Radar. And you can get it for a Windows PC, I know, and also for an Android uh, phone or tablet. Not sure about iPhone. I would bet money, though, they, they do have a version for iPhone. I found it very, very accurate and uh, very you, informative. You look off five, Mike would tell you to form just throughout equipment. So I, thank you, show you equipment, thank you. Uh, we'll get you a better update here in just a second. So I'd encourage you, if you don't have one on your tablet already and you're looking for one, check out uh, My Radar in the app stores and put that on your tablet or your phone or your computer or like I do on all three. Uh, it's very useful. Uh, you got complete zoom in and zoom out. You can move the map around. There's different parameters for the radar or for the map that's in the background.
And of course, the free version has little ads that pop up, but they're really not very intrusive. Switch back on my smiling face for a minute, kind of show you what, how I've rigged up uh, when we have weather events. Of course, I'm using my ICOM 7000 on our VHF uh, repeater in Greenville to uh, listen and talk. <clears throat> you can't see that radio, it's down here. Uh, I've got three screens going. Uh, one is just for me to look up something on this one over here has got the my radar running and the tv i've got on the channel eight which is uh, one of the major uh, tv stations here and they have a weather channel that's nothing but weather and so i've got that running on the screen over here that's basically how I set up whenever we're going to have a weather event. Uh, interesting little, what would you call it, uh, service that the amateur radio operators uh, give freely to the community is storm spotting. And that's what we're doing tonight. Get you back on the radio. And I'm hearing thunder now and some lightning. In a moment, I'm going to probably leave the shack for a minute. I hear it. Uh, update for the northwest part of Hunt County. There's a storm cell that is right between Blue Ridge and the west, and it's moving in the east direction. Uh, there is hail that is radar indicated associated with this storm. Uh, Again, here's my location on the radar right here. I'm going, to probably, I'm going to probably leave the shack in a minute, take a look outside so I can, uh, they need a report on wind or hail or anything, I'll be able to give one. I'll wait a few minutes until I actually hear the rain at least coming in. As you can see, I'm just about ready to enter the yellow portion of the radar got the little arrow on my location so you know exactly where I am. Okay, I'm going to leave the shack for a few minutes. 
let the radar run, and you can listen to net control. I'm going to take a quick look outside so I can see what's going on. Be back shortly. Well, I'm back in the shack for a few minutes. I'm going to be walking back and forth uh, inside and looking outside. <clears throat> so I'm sorry for that. I won't be able to give much commentary as this storm passes through. I need to be kind of watching outside a little bit. And uh, it looks like you know, we're just about ready to be in the yellow. Lots of lightning outside. Lots of lightning. All my equipment is unplugged except for this radio, by the way. Well, there's a storm spotter that's got hail damage. Not too unusual when you're chasing these storms. 
but you run into some uh, hail or bad weather and you will end up with uh, little dents all over your car. K5HYZ, Nextro. K5HYZ, go. is up here. He's following this storm right up here at the top of the map. For the northwestern part of the county, it looks like there's a storm cell that has a hill in it that's going to be moving south of Celeste across 69 here shortly. And uh, the, there's another little storm cell that's going to be just west of Leonard, and it's going to be moving in a uh, easterly direction. Uh, possibly with Tony Wolf City, we don't have enough information on that cell yet. And we'll go into the Leonard area. Okay, five H Y Z you're safe. So we got spotters watching this storm and we have spotters hey, watching this storm control. up here at the top. Get your mom, go ahead. Taking your status, you still code A. Good over here, I'm uh done down from fifteen sixty five to 
5 a.m. C. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 11 15 p.m. Central for Southern Hunt County, Northeastern Kaufman, and Northwestern Benzant and Rankin County. At 10:43 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over West Kewaukee, or 13 miles north of Wills Point, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Primary threat with this storm is going to be quarter size hail. Radar indicated the impact is going to be damage to vehicles as possible. Locations that be impacted by this storm will be Wills Point, Grand Plain, West Milwaukee, Edgewood, Quinlan, Emory, East Milwaukee, Hopco, Fruitville, West Milwaukee, State Park, Point, and Lumber. This is W5AMP. This is KG5 MAQ. This uh, I was just trying to get check in with you and see what your status was your location. Well, we're now getting a little rain here, but nothing uh, severe yet. A lot of lightning, though. Uh, I was thinking about moving into my emergency shack over in the garage because the antennas are basically in the attic. Right now, I'm using a 17 foot, what's called. KG5 MHU, uh, we're just confirming that the. Heavy part of the storm has passed over Quinlan and is in the West Walking area. Right now I'm using a 17 foot, what's called a Comet GP9. Do you need to head that way or just stay right where I'm at? Uh, you're good where you're at for now. Uh, thank you. Which is definitely a lightning attractor sticking up that high. Although it is in a small break in some trees, so uh, I'm kind of betting that uh, maybe I'll be okay. We'll see. That's why I have insurance on the equipment. However, I have unplugged all the other equipment. All my cables coming from the tower are unplugged, along with the, all the rotor cables for the uh, beam. They're all unplugged and plugged and grounded. I'll do some uh, braid that's going out to the ground rod. So uh, everything else in the shack is uh, basically disconnected, except for this one radio. And again, here's my location. Right here.
and it is raining pretty hard outside. I can hear it. I don't know if the mic's going to pick it up, but I can sure hear it. Lots of lightning, but uh, really, so far, it's just been a regular old Texas thunderstorm. I'm going to let this video run about another 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm going to call it quits. Uh, nothing occurs in this storm, and if the... This is WB5AMC with an update on our severe weather net that we have going. The storm that is in West Milwaukee is continuing to move east out of our county at this time. Uh, there's no... It's getting close to being no birds in Hunt County as it continues to move on. The storm in the north part of Hunt County, the north central, uh, we're currently looking at a storm cell that's between Greenville and Wolf City that's traveling in, traveling in the eastward direction towards Commerce. Now this one right here. here. And of course we did still have this one back here, but it, uh, you know it doesn't look any worse than the one that just came through. So once this one, uh, I get most of the way through it, I'm going to call this uh, quits. <clears throat> I hope you all enjoyed this. and It gives you an idea of what goes on during a weather net. Never heard one. There's some thunder and lightning. And uh, what the amateur radio operators are doing uh, every time there's any kind of severe weather in your area. <clears throat> Of course, we've got uh, on the ground reports. You can certainly tell a lot from modern radar. Oh, LB, go ahead. We are on location behind station three. And as I was saying, uh, it's a great public service. Uh, that control can work so like this secure. At the distance, uh, we are. Yeah, 4X, uh, you're clear and secure. Thank you for your assistance tonight. At the distance, we are from the radar site. Uh, they, the radar beams are kind of pointed up a little bit. And, They turned into regular thunderstorms, but as I was saying, we're so far from the radar site that Weather Bureau actually depends on uh, ground-based observation to be able to tell what's really going on. When, when you get out here in the more rural sections and you're a good ways away from the primary radar site, uh, they really can't tell very well what might be going on on the ground. So uh, uh, that's where the storm spotters come into play. <clears throat> anyway, with that said, I'm going to wish everybody a good evening and I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, the severe thunderstorm warning in northern County and Southern Bannock, they're going to allow that warning to expire. The storm is diminishing and is no longer posing a threat on radar. Uh, we are
continue to still have the warning on the one in the south end of the county. We'll continue keeping that open until these warnings expire and just make sure there's no other storm forming behind. This is W5 AM. All right, so uh, wish you all a good evening as always and keep looking up to see Thanks the greatest everybody. show on earth right over your head every single night. 73 clear skies. Not right now. To all of you, see y'all later. That's not real. It's just, uh...